Okay, so this part shows you how to drill the hole in the plastic for the clock mechanism to pass through. There are two bits of plastic that you'll be issued. You only have to mark out one piece of plastic as shown here. So we do that by drawing a large X across from corner to corner, just like shown here. You can either use a permanent felt tip pen or you can use a ballpoint pen if you go over it a couple of times. It has to be clear and obvious and visible before you move on to the drill. When we move on to the drill, we only drill one piece at a time. You can see here, the drill is a bit different to normal. It's called a step drill. So what this does is it drills different size holes depending on how deeply you drill into your material. We want to drill a 10 millimeter hole, so that means that we will drill into the fourth step. So that's just where my finger's pointing to now. As always, you use goggles. You should by now know how to start the drill with the green button and stop with the red button or the emergency stop. So I'll start the drill now. We're just going to hold the plastic with our hand. I'm just going to hold it as far away from the drill as I can. And I'm going to begin to drill down onto the centre. Just make fine adjustments before the drill starts to contact the material. Now it's right through the centre of the diagonal lines. I'm going to begin to drill through. That's me drilling with the first step. I'm now going to proceed and drill with the second step. And now I'm going to drill down to the third step. And finally I'm going to drill through with the fourth step. So raise the drill back up and have a look at the results. The results are perfect. I've drilled right the way down to the fourth step, giving me a 10mm hole. Now the reason that we didn't mark out the second piece is because we want the hole to be in the exact same spot. So that will mean that the clock mechanism passes through the two pieces simultaneously and it will be neat and it will not be offset. What I'm going to do is use the hole that we had drilled a second ago to mark the second hole. I'm just going to put the pen through the hole and colour in a little circle. It should be nice and easy to position that hole directly below the drill and drill a second time. Again I'm going through one, two, three, four steps on the step drill to get a 10 millimetre hole and if we do it correctly we should have two holes that line up with one another perfectly. You can do this drilling before or after you've polished the edges. You only need to mark one cross on each of the pieces. You can now move on and polish if you haven't done so already or put these aside and we'll assemble them later with a pattern stuck on. Okay.